and we are not live as I'm in my vehicle. Two and ten. Safety first. It is Thursday. It is Puka. Welcome everybody. Big racing going on this weekend. Cedar Lake with the legendary. We've got Fergus, uh, the king of dirt. Uh, we'll get into that in just a little bit here on a chilly day in northern Minnesota. I had to break out the vest. Uh, it's supposed to get into the 20s tonight, so uh, I hope it's a little warmer. About 200 miles south of here, both of those racing places for tonight's shows. Before we get going, as always, I want to thank our friends at Weir's Machine, W-E-H-R-S, Weir'sMachine.com. Talk to Chad. They got everything you need down there, all all kinds of parts and, and just, you know, two-link suspension stuff, four-link suspension stuff, springs. I mean, you know, you kind of know what they got there. Bill of Trickery is what we call it. So Weir'sMachine.com. Tell Chad that the one to go show sent you and also our friends at dirt track supply home of the aero chassis it's getting to be that time of year you can talk to trevor this weekend hopefully he shows up at one of the tracks i'm assuming he'll be at fergus you can check out the aero chassis and just shop do all of your shopping online for all the major brands dirttracksupply.com i got a great uh, online store right there all right so we were talking a little bit about fergus and a little bit about Cedar. So now we know that, you know, Don Shaw took over the ownership of Fergus. And one thing I think is going to be interesting to see is a little bit on the late model numbers there. Now, Don Shaw, you know, he is a great racer, 2017 national champion, has had a lot of success. But Don Shaw has also done his share of tin bending, right? He's not afraid to whack somebody. And if you watch some of the highlights from up in Grand Forks this past weekend, Door takes the quarter panel, whacks this Minsky on the front stretch. And the interesting thing is what happened right at the flag stand, Minsky off on the hook. Track was pretty hammered down. They had that three-hour rain delay. Now, this Minsky probably running one of the heat races of his life. It's $920 to start the feature, which is basically like a feature win on a regular night, right? So he's going to get in if he wins the heat. It's a big deal for the guy, I'm assuming. And, you know, uh, Shaw just crushes him on the front stretch. Minsky into the wall, breaks some stuff, off on the wrecker. Not a big deal. Shaw's going to the back. Unfortunately, Minsky's out. Shaw doesn't go to the back. Shaw goes back into first place. It's like, what? I mean, everyone who saw that could see who caused that. Now, the interesting thing is, in addition to Shaw being a promoter and, and being a rough driver, is... This is a Chris Steppen was was there. I don't know if this was a Chris Steppen event. I know Shaw has financially supported some of those FYE events in the past. I like Chris. I like the FYE events. He's got a really good formula and how to make those things work. But this reminds me, you know, whatever. I mean, millennials, you know, research O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson didn't get out of prison or didn't avoid prison because he was innocent. O.J. Simpson avoided prison because he had dough. Did Shaw avoid going to the back because he's got a little dough? And that leads me to this weekend's event. Now, there was a, you know, is Minsky going to be in a hurry to go see Don Shaw at Fergus? This is the problem. We talked about the Brokings having some issues in Grand Rapids this year as the promoters, even though it's a it's an association. Guys didn't want to race against them because they're not afraid, afraid to stuff you either. And so now... Is Minsky going to go see Shaw? Now, another incident that happened. Now, Shaw doesn't even race that much. We're going to talk about two incidents. There was an incident back in Devil's Lake at an NLRA show with Dustin Strand. I don't remember the exact details there, but there was an incident. Incidentally to the incident, Shaw almost took out one of his own cars. He almost took out the car of Dave Moss from that incident. Okay, so same thing. Dustin Strand. Is he going to be in a hurry to run down to Fergus? to race at Shaw's track. Now, you'd assume he'd bring two cars, a mod and a late. I don't know if he still has a B-mod, so potentially three cars and get them all on a trailer. But there's a little bit of an issue there. Now, one issue that we don't see is Cedar Lake, because Cedar Lake's out there on social media saying, our pit stalls are full. All that reserve pit is full. Here's where the overflow is. They're not having that issue. So it's going to be, but Fergus Falls... Might be. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying they are, but they might be. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of what the late model numbers look like. And Shaw was in a 
super stock not too many years ago, four or five years ago. I don't know if he burnt any bridges there with guys. So it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see if Don Shaw races. Is he going to race at this event? So there's all kinds of uh, variables there. And then plus the purse structure. Sorry, I need a little protein. Great meat stick. Well, I'm not going to tell you who it is because no free ads. But they should advertise here because they have ex excellent meat sticks. You know, so purse structures are very different. You know, Cedar's paying like 2500 to win on the big night Saturday. Fergus, King of Dirt's paying 5000 ish a little bit more. But, you know, you got to race a lot for free at Fergus to get in the show. Cedar Lake, you're getting paid every night. So that fifth or sixth, seventh place guy looking at that payout, it's got to be interesting to see how some of those cars, and obviously geography plays the biggest factor, but, you know, like these Iron Range cars, it's quite a jaunt either way. Where are they going to go? You know, even some of that Northwest Metro, it'll be interesting to see kind of which way they decide to go. Um, so, King of Dirt, legendary. Got some news there. Now, as far as picks, you know, we've been doing some picks for the you Dirt Drafters. Picks have been pretty hot over about the last month. This is kind of a unique weekend. You know, they're big events. You, everyone's going to kind of be there. This, this is not a time, I don't think, if you're gambling on these, to really go out on a limb. I think with three nights of racing, you need to kind of go with the stalwarts because they're just going to get things figured out faster than than others, so it's, it's hard to really pick a dark horse on a three-race weekend. So, of course, in Cedar, you're going to like Glenn's, right? you got to kind of go with Glenn's. He's been hot there. Mars has been on the one-to-go show power rankings. By the way, the one-to-go show should be posted on Facebook uh, sometime today. For those of you podcasters, it's already up, the one-to-go show. So Mars has been in the power rankings. Glenn's has been in the power rankings. Kind of the second half of the year here. I like him. Indoor's been, you know, one of the hottest drivers. He's number one in the power rankings. Those are the three I like at Cedar. You know, you go over to Fergus, another guy that's been in the power rankings all year, Dustin Strand. I like him if he shows. He probably wouldn't be a bad pick in the mod either. I would say Daryl Nelson would be a good pick on the mod over at Cedar. But I would say Strand would be good. Uh, Tyler McDonald, I think, would be good if he shows. He'd be a, a driver that... I think could could uh, have a good week in there in Fergus. And kind of kind of, I guess this was a little bit on a limb, but you know, a young guy, that Cole Searing, has had some pretty good runs. So those would be my three for Fergus if you're uh, looking to stack your team. Those are some of, the, some of the guys I would kind of go with there. So, uh, again, weirdsmachine.com. I want to thank Chad and everyone for helping us out. DirtTrackSupply.com. I want to thank Trevor and all the guys for helping us out. One to go show should be posted. Uh, Ryan is there. He should have some content coming all weekend at the one to go show. So follow that if he likes to see some of the latest there. And we will catch you all in the next video. If you're racing this weekend, you know, best wishes to you for a safe, warm weekend. We'll catch you on the next video, folks.